In this video, we're going to look at ChatGPT and look at some more advanced techniques to get greater and better quality images for our book covers and also images within our books. I feel that ChatGPT has really come a long way. Now we're at 4.0, that's the model we're currently using, but I also feel that ChatGPT is getting consistency right, but it all depends on the training you provide ChatGPT and also the instructions you provide it. So let's look at different ways that we can use it, how advanced it's becoming, and also the quality of images it is now creating. As you would have seen from the thumbnail, this is one of the book covers that I created. But how do I get to this point? Because there were a few different things I needed to ask ChatGPT to do and to learn what I really wanted. So let's go back to the initial prompt and we'll see under a new chat, whether I can create a similar image to this one right now. So let's begin with the initial prompt. As I mentioned, you need to start to build in imagery for ChatGPT to work with. So you need to use your imagination. And this is what I've come up with initially. The book cover image you are going to create shows a pencil, hand-drawn illustration of a family visiting the zoo as they enter through the front uh, entry gates. In brackets, large black cast iron gates. In the distance, you can see a giraffe in its beautiful and leafy, leafy enclosure. The illustration is vivid and bright. The image is square, for example, 8.5 inch by 8.5 inch. So you can see that I'm creating this image in my mind initially, and then trying to be as descriptive as possible. Let's see what this creates to start with. Now, when I start, it's like going back to the dial-up internet days, which is quite funny. So as you'll see, it does take some time for the image to appear. And it does remind me of the early 1990s when internet was out, actually first out. And you'll see how it comes down. Now, this will change over time. This will be very, very quick in the next probably 12 months, 18 months. But as they work through the initial stages of getting images, it's going to be a bit slow. So let me fast forward this process because it can take a little bit of time. So that's a beautiful image. You could use that within your book, maybe even for a book cover. But let's try and keep this consistency of the characters. But rather than a giraffe, let's see if whether we can create it so there might be a, a lion. So let me see if I can do the prompt. I'll uh, fast forward as I give you this information. So what I've done now is create some parameters for ChatGPT, and I'm confirming it with a question. So it's important with all the images moving forward that you do the following. The family members in the illustration, the father, mother, son, and daughter, all appear the same and are wearing the same clothing. I need the characters to remain consistent. Keep the same pencil design throughout all images. Keep all the images square. Is this understood? Please confirm. So this is where you need to confirm and teach ChatGPT what you want. Let's click enter. Now ChatGP will confirm these arrangements. Consistent characters, same illustration style, square format. Now, what we need to do is create our next image, but we're going to try and keep it consistent, and we might include a line this time. So we'll say in the story that they've now gone in, they've gone into the zoo, and now they're visiting the lion. So let's see if we can keep these characters here consistent into the next image. So let me start writing this next uh, part up, and I'll show you what I write. So now what I've done is try to be as descriptive as possible. In the next image, the family are in the zoo and visiting the lion enclosure. The sun is shining and there are beautiful trees. The lion enclosure looks like a South African savanna. It has some small trees and there are some lions walking in the distance. The family behind a protective fence. There is a one line that is 20 meters away from them. Let's see what, what this image looks like and how it creates it. Again, let's start and I'll pause it until this image is actually created. So you can see the image is starting to take shape. I'll be fascinated to see whether the characters that I requested from the family remain consistent. That is one of the key things. But it is a beautiful illustration so far. And you can see it's starting to show the family. So the father should be um, almost red and red and the girl's wearing yellow. So let's have a look. Oh, wonderful. So there we go. It's kept the characters consistent. 
you can see exactly as I have requested. It looks like an African savanna, a line there, a couple of lines in the distance, and they're behind a protective fence. So that's been a wonderful outcome for this illustration so far and it's kept it square so you can see how i'm teaching ChatGPT to keep things consistent and everything in my mind is now being converted into these beautiful illustrations let's do one last one this time we're going to change it up we're going to go to the monkey enclosure and we're going to do that and we might even create and see if it can create like a book cover for us as well so let's let me create the prompt right now this time i'm trying to include something and it'll be interesting to see what happens so the family now visiting the monkey enclosure the enclosure is like an amazon maybe it's like an amazon rainforest there are vines hanging from the tree as small as small monkeys um, with white tips on their tails swing from tree to tree the family is standing behind a protective glass screen the mother is taking a photo a small blue butterfly is landed on the daughter's shoulder the young son is pointing at one of the monkeys so what i'm trying to see is how minute a detail can we get so we want a butterfly to be landing on the daughter's shoulder and the son is going to be pointing at the monkey and the mother's taking a photo but the whole enclosure is very different this time it's more like an uh, Amazon rainforest. So let's see what this produces. I'll be quite amazed with, I think, with what's going on. So as you can see, I've gradually gone from this illustration. The only difference is it's a little bit brighter in that picture compared to that one. But um, that is quite beautiful, that uh, initial illustration. So let's wait for this one to start to show us what this, uh, what ChatGPT can do and the power of keeping consistency throughout all these images so as the image starts to appear i can see the monkey be interesting to see the glass if the, the family standing beyond the glass i'm not sure if it's going to actually correctly interpret this or not it might be quite hard for it to understand but the monkeys look good i can't see the glass but maybe oh yeah it's struggled a bit i think it's it, uh, what I might even try and do is change it, but you can see the boy's pointing at the monkey, the mum's got the camera, and the girl's got the blue butterfly. So I think the glass has made it a bit grainy, the picture, and what we might do now is I might ask it to remove the glass and just have the family looking at the monkeys. Let me do that right now. So what I've asked it to do is keep that exact same image, but remove the protective glass screen. I want to improve the clarity of the image. Now, what I'm doing here is please confirm you understand. It is important when you're going through this process, you get it to repeat back to you how its interpretation of what you're asking for. So let's wait. So confirmed, I'll use the exact same image to remove the protective glass screen while keeping everything else the same, including the character setting and pencil style to improve clarity. Ready to proceed now. So now it's going and creating the image. Now it'd be interesting to see how much clearer this image is. But note, the consistency of characters, let's have a look at the, the dad, and the mum, she's got the brown bag, brown bag. Let's have a look at the top here. Brown bag, brown shoes, red top, brown shoes. Girl has got the yellow and blue, and the boy's got the backpack, backpack, backpack. The only thing is the height is a little bit, no, oh, the height's not too bad. See, the boy is a little bit taller there than the girl. So that's one thing when you're doing the instructions here you need to maybe even include the height of the characters to keep them consistent as well. So that's one thing you need to work into it. Now let's see whether this image is almost identical to the one being created, but clearer. So far, it's looking very, very similar. And we're just waiting for this to load up. I think it is very, very close to being the same image so we're looking for that little blue butterfly as well there it is so it's somewhat clearer probably could be even clearer again so i could go through another uh, instruction to do that but let's move on to the last bit we're going to go back to creating front cover of the book and we want to leave some space for us to include a heading or a title so let's try that right now 
And this is a quite a large one. So now I'd like to create an image for the front cover. The images of the family entering the main entry of the zoo. There are other people in the distance queuing up to enter the zoo through the three ticket gates. The entry is beautiful. There are beautiful gardens with tropical plants. There is a very large fig tree to the right hand side of the image. There are a couple of palm trees. Uh, about the ticketing, so above it should be. Let me change that. Above the ticketing entrance is a large colourful banner that says, Welcome to the zoo. The mother and daughter are holding hands. The father has his hand over the... Sh oh, sorry, I might be, has his arm. Let me just change this. Over the son's shoulder. Now, what I also need to instruct to do is leave some space at the top of the image so I can include the title. I'll just in enter that now. Now, whether this will work or not, I'm sure, please also leave room at the top of the image so I can include the book title. Now, you might like to get ChatGPT to actually include the book title on the actual image so you don't have to worry about it. But let's just see what happens. It may or may not work. But again, you can see the detail I'm going into for each of these images to get the best quality image that you can. So it's not leaving enough room at the top, but that's okay. I can try and change that at another time. So let's see. It's not getting the writing correct here. So it's one change I could probably make. Welcome to the zoo. Big banner. It's not really being attached to anything, but it's got it pretty much right. The main thing that's happening here is I think it's confused about who the mother and daughter were, but that's okay. The um, son and the daughter are holding hands, and the dad's got his hand over the daughter's shoulder. So I don't think AI understands who the characters are, who the the daughter and the son arm, um, but that's okay. I quite like the image. The only thing I would change would be this writing here. I'd ask it, ask it to get rid of that. And the banner I could probably change as well. I could probably have, again, something where there's a sign over the top of the rooftop here, but it has got the fig tree and it's got some palms. So it's really given everything and it's tried to remain consistent with that as well. So you can see, it's quite impressive what she can actually do. Going back to this first image, that was probably my favourite image. I think just the vivid illustration was great. It sort of started to deteriorate a little bit at this point in time, but it is a, a, a progress project where you can just continue to work on it. Uh, let me just show you back to that image I created earlier from another chat that I'd been having with it to create the front, front book cover. And so there's a black and white version I was doing. And then this one right here, that's a that's a really good one. I love that one. And you just got to keep on playing around with what you want and how you want it to come up. So that is extraordinary how good a quality that image is. And then I can actually grab that image and just have it as a flat image as well. Uh, and I can request that so it won't have the, the AI hands that are holding that cover. But it's come such a long way. So um, I hopefully that instructional information has helped you if you're using ChatGPT. So as you can see, ChatGPT has really come a long way, but it depends on the prompts that you give ChatGPT, its understanding and its interpretation. That's why you need to ask it to confirm what you're asking to do. And you can actually teach it all the steps that you need. And the consistency is becoming so much better even from three months ago. So if you have ChatGPT 4.0, you can see the differences you can actually start to make with your book illustrations and cover designs and things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you want more information, you can always go to my website, globalselfpublishing.com, and there's a ton of different resources there, both free and different courses you can actually purchase at the same time. And I've also got my monthly subscription to my courses, which should save you a significant amount of money rather than purchasing them individually. So if that's something that you wish to uh, look into, again, go to my website, globalselfpublishing.com, and I look forward to providing another video very shortly. So until then, goodbye.